We now know that Novak Djokovic has pulled out of the Madrid Masters and although that news may not be shocking to many and it's not even really breaking news as this was reported upwards of a day ago, Novak Djokovic has his eyes set on Rome. However, the bigger news is that not only he is out for a non-medical reason, i.e. he does not, doesn't want to play, he also has been too busy bringing up new dogs. That's not the news that I'm reporting on. Rather, it's the news that as reported previously on the channel, Djokovic is aiming to equal Federer as the athlete with the most laureus men's sportsman of the year awards. And him falling out of Madrid may be a sign that he perhaps will be snubbed for the award, which will be given out on Monday night. Other candidates for the award include Max Verstappen, Erling Haaland, Messi, Noah Lyles, and Armand Duplantis. In my opinion, he deserves it. I went over why in previous videos. However, the fact that he has put out of Madrid perhaps implies that he has been told he will not win the award. The award ceremony will be held in Madrid on Monday night. If this is the case, it will be quite poor. And a lack of respect for Djokovic, who, in my opinion, undoubtedly had the best season out of all sports people in the world last year. Perhaps I'll go with Max Verstappen, and I don't agree with that because A, it's motorsport it has less of an impact and less respectable sport. I don't care what anyone says. And secondly, he won it over Djokovic two years back when Djokovic had a similar season and they gave it to Max Verstappen. You know what? They should really like be switching it up, giving it to Djokovic this time and said they're going to stick with Verstappen. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully Djokovic gets it because as a tennis fan, he deserves it. The others, Haaland, Noah Lyles, Messi, great years from them. Not Messi, actually. Messi does not deserve to be there, but they're probably in a lower tier. I can't speak about Duplantis, so if it is him, then maybe he does deserve it. I'm not sure about what he's all about. But it's a big hint that Djokovic has not travelled to Madrid, the same city, which is hosting the Laureus Sports Awards. However, you never know. Perhaps he is going there. It remains to be seen. Perhaps that might mean that Djokovic will be snubbed of that prestigious Laureus Award. Let me know in the comments down below if you believe Djokovic should win the Laureus Men's Sports Award and should he have played in Madrid. And next up, we do have to talk about the upcoming final between Stefano Tsitsipas and Kasper Ruud in Barcelona Open. It's a repeat or a rematch of last week from Monte Carlo. And can Kasper Ruud finally win a tournament above the 250 category? I'm hoping he can because I want to see him finally break that drought. Tsitsipas has been able to go on a bit of a winning streak on clay courts in the last few weeks and it likely will continue as he only beat Kasper Ruud a week ago. Not much has changed, albeit Kasper Ruud has been playing better score-wise in Barcelona. I do predict a Tsitsipas win, and we'll see what happens. It's the first time that someone not named Nadal Alcaraz will be winning in Barcelona for a few years. It's an interesting matchup, perhaps a start of a bit of a rivalry between Kasper Ruud and Tsitsipas in the final of clay court tournaments. Who do you guys think will come away victorious in this matchup? Let me know in the comments down below. So that's it. A bit of a catch-up of the situation regarding Djokovic in Madrid and the upcoming Barcelona final. Until next time.